Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a nude. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Caps, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it no mind, feel the energy, remember roles can always be reversed. Caps, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you, my loves. I appreciate you for sure. All right, let's talk about your energy. Um, Caps, coming into your energy, I got a flood of responsibility, okay? So I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was me. Like, oh man, I forgot. I got that load in the dryer. Um, I took my sheets off the bed. Then I said I was hungry and get something to eat. I forgot to eat. Oh, let me take this meat out for tomorrow. And then... Uh, it, basically, I'm bup, 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 bup. and this is your energy. And I'm thinking, why am I rushing? Because I had already timed myself out to do my readings and to get my housework done. Why am I rushing? Like, this is you. <laughs> Slow down, okay? Seriously, you act like you don't even own a bed. Hello? As much as you love sleep, and so do I. So stop playing. Um, lay down. Take a nap. Relax. Seriously. Uh, something. Something. Whatever it is, it will be. But this is not even safe uh, physically. Like, I felt the stress in my chest. I felt the strain on my shoulders, you know, that pressure. Like, this is not safe. Please, slow down, okay? So, I pulled the Wisdom of the Oracle. See if we could see what got y'all so riled up. Because you are in your zone. Can I have Capricorn, please? Please and thank you. This is why I tell the other signs. The due diligence of a don't sleep on it, that Capricorn energy. When you get focused, man, stuff gets done early. Capricorn, please. <sighs> All right, Caps, you going to leave it broke? I don't, I don't blame you. I ain't going to lie, not this time. You know, I would love to give you a higher perspective, godly glasses, you know, forgiveness is due and we have to take the high road and sometimes you just got to leave it broke. Nix it, man. It's not even nix it. It's more so just leave it broke. You know, after you done put together and fixed and put together so many times over and over and over and over again it's like listen uh, come on at some point i need use out of this product i need use out of this connection so if i'm constantly fixing it then i'm not getting no use out of it the only thing i'm giving myself is extra chores and i got 50 11 million thousand things to do so leave it broke just leave it broke um never ending story is coming in to remind you actually and to encourage you and to kind of validate you're not doing nothing wrong you're not doing nothing wrong leave it broke because they're gonna this is like trying to save somebody over and over and oh, fix them and mend it and fix it and mend it and you're you're like listen i'm not doing that this time and here they come capricorn can you fix it again can you fix it again can you fix it again you know, here we go again. And so, you know, Caps, it's up to you. Use discernment. I would leave it broke. I'm, I'm, you're in a good place. You know, you're really um, focused on your future. You're focused on your vibration. Um, you're focused on things that return. You know, you're trying to invest uh, for, with the purpose of return. 
Um, you know your connection to the most high. You know that you have this brand new life coming in and if you expect it to just keep getting better and better and better, you know. Um, definitely slow down on doing too much at one time with the breathe and the clean up. Here go to work with the chop wood. Relax. Relax. Hello? Relax. Woosa. Pace yourself, okay? It'll get done. It'll get done. And you doing it in faster and harder is not going to stop something from coming back again, okay? That's the whole point of you leaving it broke. Leave it broke, you know, this person or that thing or whatever. Leave it broke and see how this play out. You know, see if they can handle it broke. See if they can fix it themselves. You know, see, see, because see, the truth be told is coming out. Okay. Something is coming through out of this. There's a realization, an understanding or an opportunity for you to get the heck away from it. All right. Right into your blessing, right into your blessing. But right now your lack of, of I'm going to fix it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to you know, make sure everything is right. It's going to, you, when you stop doing that, you're going to make somebody really kind of think about what they're doing with themselves or what they did when it came to you. All right. Let's do your spread. We're going to do Pruitts for your spread. Why not? Why not? You drinking wine? I smell a quirk. Or oh, I'm seeing a cork rather, but I'm, I want to smell it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind smelling that. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Capricorn. Let me have the core. What's that? The seven of pentacles coming in sideways and the eight of swords. Yeah. This, it, it, it may have you torn. Let's say this is a child, uh, your child, you know, and they're, let's say, coming into their adult years, okay? Or they're facing something you feel that they should know better or they should make smarter choices, okay? But, you know, at the same time, you have, you're looking at this like, should I help or should I just leave it be? You know, if I help, I want to help ease their pain, but at the same time, they need to learn their lesson, you know? So what do I do? I feel stuck. You understand? What you do is you be supportive, be supportive emotionally, you know, but they have to feel this and it's going to hurt you too for them to hurt, but you have to slow down. You have to slow down. There's no way around that. Somebody needs to understand, listen, caps have feelings too. Caps get tired too. You know, caps get frustrated too. You know, caps is not uh, a bouncing bag or, or what do you call it? One of them turning things that you just go round and round, and get on and off when you feel like it. Cap is not a revolving door. Hello? Crown this energy for Capricorn. Please and thank you. What's hanging over their head for assistance? Thank you. The five of wands sideways. Yeah, you're going to have to stand your ground and not a lot. It's not an upright, okay? But you kind of have to cap, be careful and pick and choose. I guess um, be very solid on your, your boundaries, okay? I'll say it like that. Yeah, you got to hold, you got to hold your, it's like, don't go too hard, but don't go light either. You know, it's broke. There's a, look at this. There's a lot of broken flutes. So somebody's blaming you because it's broke. And I think they're not blaming you because they're broke. It's more so about you can fix it. Why are you not fixing it? Because I don't have to. That's not my job. I fixed it last time. I'm not doing that this time. So maybe they need to borrow money and they're saying, a cap, you have the money. Why are you being like that? Because it's my damn money. That's why. It's mine, and I'm holding on to it. Okay? What's working against caps? What's in the way? Please and thank you. 
what's working against Capricorns right now? What's in the way? Please and thank you. The Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Caps. You know, your cutoff game is crazy. Don't say F it. Just leave it broke. Don't say F it. Don't say I don't care, because you do. But leave it broke. I know it's their turn. It's their time. I get it. So th let it be. You're being capped. Let God be God. Let God teach the lesson. You be the example of blessing. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. Let God teach the lesson, but you be the example of blessed. Be the example of uh, favor. Be the example of hard work. Be the example of due diligence. You know, be the example of obedience. All right. Be the example of humility. The example of sacrifice. They're coming to you because you always fix it or whatever this energy is. There's an expectation out of it. That's how I feel. I feel like there's an expectation of you and it's because of who you are or what you're capable of, but there is no love. There's no appreciation. There's expectation. And Cap, I know when, when you realize somebody trying to use you or you start feeling used, you get into that, like, listen, F you, your mom, your grandma, and everybody else uh, on that side of the family, okay? I mean, but don't do that. Don't just be the example of you can have the same thing. I don't have nothing that nobody else can have. I'm not nobody that nobody else can be. You know, raise your vibration, your frequency, get on your journey spiritually and edify yourself with the most high, okay? Woo! Where is this coming from? Because I feel like you're dealing with this and everything else. Yeah, no peace. Four of Swords reverse. That's how this felt. That's how it felt earlier. I felt like I had to do this and that. And then I got to deal with this and this and that. And then I had to do this and this. And like I was all, I was like frazzle brain. That's that damn camper. I tell people, everybody can't hold on to your energy. I, Lord knows whenever I get it, I got to use it for what I need to do. And then I get rid of it because I can't hold it. Um... But the four swords in reverse is literally no peace, no rest. You know, um, you have so much. Look at the, all that's going on. Seven of cups. You got so much on your plate and you're trying to figure out what to even do first. You know, what's best for now, how you should handle things, things like that. Focus on the here and now. That's how you deal with that. One day at a time. And if a day is too much, one a minute at a time. Okay, one hour at a time. But don't get too far ahead and don't get stuck in the past. That's what's important here, you know, with that stuck in the past issue. Don't focus on this person may have asked you for help 10 times. So on the 11th time, you're saying, listen, I'm not helping you. Um, and you, it's your, uh, it's your prerogative cap if you want to give a reason, but it's, listen, I'm not, I'm not helping you. Okay. Uh, whether or not you give a reason that's up to you, but at the same time, it's not because you helped them 10 times. It's that today I'm not helping you period. That's it. That's it. There's no, there's no malice that needs to be had. It's not for them to fail, you know? But it's just today, no, I'm not helping you. Nope, not today. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Where are we going with this? For Capricorn, please and thank you. Where are we going? King of Wands sideways, Six of Swords sideways. This is the person I'm talking about, whoever that is in your life. It's somebody that actually, they just think they... How can I say this? <sighs> King of Wands, when they and when they acting funny, I can say, I can say uh what you call fire signs, you know, Aries Leo Sage. It doesn't have to be. Don't never get caught up in the signs. Feel the energy to know if it resonates, okay? Um, but the King of Wands, when they're acting acting funny, um, and kind of like um 
somebody is supposed to do something for them or something is supposed to be a certain way, it's because they're being selfish. They, and whether they see it or not, I don't know. But nine times out of 10, it's because they're hyper-focused on themselves, their future, the task at hand. Like they're not really kind of caring about what the vibe is in the room. They're not reading the room. They they don't care about the room at, in that moment, right? In that moment, the King of uh, Wands is focused on, it's a tunnel vision kind of thing, what's right in front of them, you know what I mean? So coming in with the Six of Swords, this, uh, it seems like this King of Wands energy, be it a job or the family or your partner, it don't matter to me, but this is somebody that needs you, Cap, to get them out of some trouble. They're in trouble. Okay, but even the infinity sign is here again. They're in trouble again. This is you, Cap, drinking that wine. I told you I smelled the cork. <laughs> you said, listen, not today. You're not doing it. Okay, you're not doing it. Knight of Wands. Somebody is playing like they came when you know the night is a lonely Saturday, uh, uh, a fun Saturday night, lonely Sunday morning kind of energy. It's in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And what I was saying earlier, you're not a revolving door. You're not, you know, some kind of temporary fix, things like that. So as you focus on you, then God focuses on you. Okay, Cap, seriously, you get the Uber and it's taking you right to control over all of this because you're going to let go of this uh, betrayal or this confusion that's been happening. All right. You're making a quick move or some quick decisions because of the divine clarity that you that you're really kind of coming into with the most high of what's been really fighting you you know, or how you've been maybe assisting in somebody's suppression. I ain't going to lie, Cap. I got to call it. I love you. All right. I got to call it like I see it. So if that's the case, you're going to emotionally make peace with this and this simply move on. And um, you may not know what's going to come out of this, but you know that you're prepared to handle whatever comes out of this. And that is going to speak volumes about your growth, your maturity, your faith, um, your intentions and things like that with that Ace of Cups because you get a fresh new start. This new start comes with a beautiful confidence with the Queen of Wands. Um, very, very lovely uh, intuition. A little bit of a trailer to, uh, about your future life because there's still a decision to be had because this energy is in literally the infinity of energy. It's it's going to constantly keep coming, you know? So you're going to maybe have to reconsider leaving something or someone behind. Um, and that's not always easy to do, you know? So make sure you hold near and dear um, what's important to you and why you move the way you move or think the way you think um, going forward because you're it's going to take strength, will, drive, and determination, you know, um, to be fearless when it comes to new, this new beginning or this new life that you're creating for yourself, okay? You're going to have to unga bunga your way through some things, but look at, you have a beautiful move here or a change here or a closure here with this chapter with the world and the new beginning right behind it with the full beautiful, nice, healthier connections coming in in your future, or you just simply get in alignment with where you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be spiritually, mentally, and also physically. I'm sensing in this uh, smaller belly, actually, specifically. I don't know. Um, uh, doing, making wiser choices. That's just what this is. It's not that you never had the knowledge, but come on, Cap, we all can say that you know, we didn't always do what we knew what we were supposed to do. You know, we didn't did some stuff. Okay. But now you're applying that knowledge. That means that's the creation of wisdom. Okay. The application of the knowledge. And it's because of the emotional control and maturity and intelligence that's developing literally as we speak in this energy. All right. All right. I'm going to leave this here and I hope it helps. Now, if any event you say, Green Eyes, listen, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here. Excuse me, for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free, and it does support the channel. 
If any event you're looking for a personal appointment, I respond to email requests only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. Guys, if you do like what you get here and you want to sow a seed, donation information is below the video. I truly, truly appreciate you. Absolutely. There's also links for uh, Cash App or PayPal for your convenience. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.